Welcome to Connor's show, In the Dark of Night. We're not your usual cheerful channel. Brace yourselves for a chilling journey into horror as we send shivers down your spine. Get ready for a terrifying adventure, it begins now. Number 5. Rain and Gino from Sinister, RP are back to settle a paranormal grudge that started at Boyd Cemetery. In Canada, after exploring a haunted apartment three days ago, they find the ghost from the cemetery has followed them, that night, using a ghost hunting app. They make spiritual contacts, the eerie conversation takes a sinister turn, intensifying the paranormal grudge. The chilling continuation of their supernatural encounter unfolds. Can you tell me your name? Yes. If there is anything following me, you are not allowed to anymore. Ernest's ghostly voice is followed by a sarcastic little girl who dismisses the idea of banishment. With a too bad, even as Ernest says goodbye, his tone remains sarcastic, creating an eerie atmosphere. I said goodbye. In real time, spine-chilling EVPs make sense from the other side, Rain and Gino, unyielding in their own home, bravely revisit the cemetery three days later for a final showdown. However, the ghost voice only scorns and ominously warns them, heightening the supernatural suspense. Please do not follow us home. You are not allowed to follow us home. You are not allowed to attach yourselves to us or anything that we have here. We are going now. Goodbye. The spirits seem unconvinced as Rain and Gino silently exit Boyd Cemetery, a fiendish figure, possibly old Ernest, glimpsed behind a marker, appears beyond architectural features, intensifying the supernatural eeriness when zoomed in. Sinister up he ponders whether returning did more harm than good. They claim a real ghost fighting caught on camera, seeking agreement or alternative explanations. Number 4. Glowing Ghost Paranormal Investigates McIntyre Villa in Atchison, Kansas. Sightings of shadow figures and paranormal activities are frequent in a unique EVP session. Michael, blindfolded and with headphones, deciphers spirit box responses. How old are you? Nine. <gasps> Picture. In the basement, a little ghost girl's voice speaks to Michael, withholding her name and remaining silent when asked why she's there. Can you tell us why you're here? I heard like it was like a scream <gasps> in the thing. A harrowing scream pierces the air, sensing with the glitch in the camera audio, Michael, reacting to a voice screaming, hints at a sinister past in the basement. The nine-year-old ghost's inability to describe it differently than a scream, the EVP session, continues, Michael's coherent answers intensifying the unease. Uh, it sounds like nice or not nice. <gasps> oh my god. Can you tell us the name of the person that hurt you? No. As Michael's answers impeccably align with the questions, doubts arise about the authenticity of his sensory deprivation. The mystery deepens. Can I'm getting the chills. Soldier? Go look. Oh this, my god. The this, wall? If you want us to go look in the library with the man, the soldier, can you say yes? The paranormal investigation moves upstairs, validating the spirit box's mention of a uniformed man in the library behind a door. They discover a picture of a young girl, revealing her name and a cryptic code. Your request for help in solving the code intrigues me. While not asserting the video's falseness, the possibility of prior room exploration 
for scripted answers exists. If the ghost's claims prove accurate, the only option is to peer inside the wall. As suggested, the final, unsolved, eerie moment occurs as reflections in the mirror shift. With no apparent movement from the ghost hunter, this enigma, coupled with the unexplained code and historical findings, supports the haunting nature of the house. Number 3 Two chilling videos surfaced from MBG Calls, a dark web explorer, in the first, a demon woman climbs a wall like a spider, shrieking in a possessed manner. A spine-tingling scene unfolds. <laughs> Two voices emanate from a single person, and upon scrutiny, a mysterious creature with two heads is revealed. The black and white footage raises doubts about its origin, possibly from the dark web or edited. Especially considering MBG calls CGI expertise at for seconds. Slight blurring on the bricks suggests potential special effects use. Despite this, the convincing nature of the scary video challenges easy detection, with most viewers unable to discern. <laughs> Number 2. South Korean Coast Hunter, Tosachi explores a haunted house where seven met a grim fate, including a couple, the interior, in his words, is weird and creepy, giving the paranormal investigator goosebumps, he senses multiple spirits, and suddenly, one captures his attention, the chilling exploration unfolds with each step. Soft knocks behind, a ghost pleads from the window, begging to be let in, a thorny relic. In South Korean belief, wards off spirits when above the entrance, keeping them at bay. Hold your breath, every time he steps out to catch a ghost on tape. His motion tracking freezes a sinister sign, spirits lurking, waiting for him to release the relic. As he ditches the stick and waits, they stroll in through the front door. The air thickens with horror as they reclaim their haunting ground. In a heartbeat, horror rises as a spirit passes through. Oh! Unfortunately, his paranormal equipment repeatedly malfunctions. Just as he's about to capture the ghost on tape, the equipment goes dark. When it's back on, a ghost materializes in the pitch black hallway, no mistaking it for a person, just pure darkness, yet. The equipment detects a mysterious shadow figure gliding, he returns to the window. Where he previously heard knocking, to his horror, another ghost figure appears. Relieved to be back inside, it climbs to sit in the window, giving a creepy wave hello. The chilling presence lingers. Number 1. CERN, a foreboding lab straddling the Swiss-French border, sent shockwaves through the scientific community in August 2016 with a perplexing ritual. From his window, a terrified man witnesses a group in black shrouds gathering in the courtyard, circling someone in ominous unity. As the person in white is unveiled, they kneel before a statue. Vulnerable, the leader bearing an object gleaming in the light, approaches, concluding the eerie ceremony with an unsettling action, details obscured from view. Fearing a potential threat, the whistleblower promptly shares the video on Twitter, yet, CRN dismisses the incident as an escalated joke, prompting internal investigations and repercussions for some involved, skepticism arises due to the lab's sophisticated security. The ritual unfolds openly in the courtyard without intervention. The internal investigation's credibility is contested. The absence of concrete evidence supporting the joke conclusion raises eyebrows. Leaving room for doubt, the unsettling events at CERN unfold. 
leaving viewers to draw their own disconcerting conclusions about the mysterious ritual and its implications.